Gulliver woke up, found himself bound. He roared. He tried to sit up with all his might. Gulliver was escorted to the palace. He stood like a giant in front of the palace. Gulliver was forced to pull the plow. He walked forward with difficulty, showing a painful expression. The enemy bound the princess. Suddenly Gulliver's giant head appeared before everyone. He used his fingers to grip the enemy soldiers and threw them into the pool. The princess walked into Gulliver's palm. Gulliver moved his footsteps. He moved the princess to a safe place. He crouched down. The princess returned to the ground. The princess asked him to rescue her parents. The palace was ablaze everywhere. The king was trapped. Gulliver tried to use his hand to rescue the king, but his hand was burned by the fire, and it hurt so much that he screamed in pain. He came up with a brilliant idea, so he took off his pants. Everyone present was dumbfounded. His urine splashed onto the fire and soaked the king. The king was saved. Gulliver took off his shirt. The shirt was thrown onto the tower. Shoes and socks were thrown onto the open ground. The foul smell overwhelmed everyone, covering their noses. His gigantic body, the depth of the ocean reached only to his waist. Gulliver stood in front of the invading army. He urged the enemy to retreat. Everyone should strive for peace. But the enemy leader refused peace talks. Gulliver used his hand to strike the water's surface, to demonstrate his power to the enemy, hoping to make them retreat. But the enemy leader ordered to fire at him. The cannons bombarded Gulliver's body, leaving many small marks on his upper body. Gulliver exerted all his strength to bounce the cannonballs back. The enemy fleet suffered heavy losses. He grabbed the ropes, dragging many ships. Gulliver defeated the invading army. He feast bumped everyone, expressing joy. Gulliver became a great hero, receiving very high level treatment. His status in Lilliput was extraordinary. Gulliver stood at the square intersection, where his personal portrait was displayed, with dance moves expressing his excitement. Are you envious? A group of Lilliputians stepping on his back, giving him a relaxing massage. He thoroughly enjoyed this treatment. Three Lilliputians holding scissors were giving him a haircut. The chief guard came to the enemy king, kneeling to express allegiance. The chief guard handed over the country's intelligence to the enemy king, asking the enemy king to capture the princess. He wanted to marry the princess. He also wanted to personally kill Gulliver. The chief guard's defection was because he was very jealous of Gulliver, thinking that Gulliver had stolen his glory, and the chief guard wanted to marry the princess, but was rejected by her. He was very angry. Chief guard dons robot armor, grapples with Gulliver. Gulliver pins down armor, tears key circuits, armor incapacitated. Gulliver dances, 